a male in his 20s presents with recurrent chest infections. Does the x-ray show an abnormality? Let's go through the case. With a chest x-ray for someone in their 20s, you expect things to look pristine. Have a look at this area of lung adjacent to the right heart border. This doesn't look completely clear, and you can make out a subtle ring shadow abutting the right hemidiaphragm. Compare this with the area of lung adjacent to the left heart border, and you can see what things should look like. Ring shadows on chest x-ray raise the possibility of bronchiectasis. With bronchiectasis, there is irreversible localised abnormal dilatation of the airways. This is best diagnosed on CT. In normal circumstances, the internal diameter of the airway should be the same size or smaller than the accompanying pulmonary artery. In bronchiectasis, the internal diameter of the airway is larger than the adjacent pulmonary artery. Now, bronchiectasis can be idiopathic, but there are things that can predispose. Acute, chronic or recurrent infection can destroy the airway walls and lead to bronchiectasis. Severe childhood infection, classically whooping cough or measles, can cause bronchiectasis. Some conditions can predispose to chronic infection, such as cystic fibrosis, where there is ongoing mucus buildup. If you see significant bronchiectasis, check if there is fatty replacement of the pancreas, which can point you towards cystic fibrosis. In allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, there is hypersensitivity to aspergillus, mainly in asthmatics, resulting in central bronchiectasis and bronchoceles, giving a fingering glove appearance. If the mucus is high density on CT, this is a big clue that the underlying diagnosis is ABPA. Obstruction of an airway leading to mucus buildup and chronic infection can lead to more localised bronchiectasis, and there are more uncommon causes. If we look at the CT scan, first we can see the right upper lobe bronchus coming off with this whale shape. You then have the bronchus intermedius, which splits off into the middle lobe and right lower lobe bronchi. Now this is the medial segmental bronchus, and if we follow it down, we can see the airways become really dilated, almost like cysts. Now remember on CT, there is a spectrum of appearances. You can have cylindrical bronchiectasis where the airways look like tubes. In varicose bronchiectasis, the airways look beaded. And cystic bronchiectasis is the most severe where the airways look like, well, cysts. It's been said they have a bunch of grapes appearance and it can be difficult to tell the difference between bronchiectasis or say cystic lung disease or honeycombing and fibrosis. But following the cysts back to the airways like we did here can help make the diagnosis. If we look closer, we can see there are signs of inflammation. There is bronchial wall thickening here in the posterior segment, and we can also see ground glass centrilobular nodules reflecting inflammation of the small airways. The cystic bronchiectasis accounts for the ring shadows we could see on the chest x-ray. So the lesson here is that these ring shadows on chest x-ray can be a sign of bronchiectasis.